Hello, in this presentation we will define trial balance. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of trial balance is list of accounts and their balances at a point in time. Total debit balances equal total credit balances. When we think about the trial balance, we consider that there will be generally a list of accounts within the trial balance often the accounts that have balances within them. If there's a zero balance, may not be in the trial balance. So if you're looking at the trial balance, remember that there might be more accounts within the chart of accounts not listed within the trial balance. The order of the trial balance will always be consistent in that it will be ordered not by alphabetical order, but by order of account type, meaning we have asset accounts, then liability accounts, then equity accounts, then revenue accounts, then income statement accounts. That being shown here by assets being green, liabilities being uh, orange, we have equity in light blue, and the income statement accounts, revenue and expenses, being in dark blue. This will not always be the case in every trial balance, but it, it will always be in that order. Also note that some trial balances may have account numbers. Those account numbers will usually be in order all the way down, meaning the first account numbers will all maybe start with a 1, this, the ones with the liabilities will all start possibly with 2s. However, just note that the account, the first ordering of the accounts is by type. So if we were to put, say, an account number of 1 next to accounts payable, most accounting software would still group that account 1 down here rather than putting it up at number 1. Why? because it's a liability and we have to list the assets first. So if you are constructing account numbers, we have to recognize that we have to make the account numbers fit into the order of accounts. And within the account types, then it will generally be ordered by account numbers. Uh, and that will help us then from the default mode of being ordered in alphabetical order within the account types. Then we have the account balances here. These balances are going to be what is generated from the general ledger. So remember the process here. We're recording transactions, posting them to the general ledger, then taking those ending balances from the general ledger and using them to construct the trial balance. The trial balance may have two columns, a debit and a credit column, and, and showing that the debits equal the credits. Another common form to show the trial balance is to have debits represented with non-bracketed or positive numbers, credits represented with bracketed numbers. There's advantages to using this form in addition and subtraction in that it helps us do some simple math, some simple calculations, especially when using soft software like Excel. For example, revenue at a credit, Excel sees as a negative number the bracketed numbers, Therefore, we can just sum up these, these cells, the um, revenue, the expense, the expense, the expense, the expense, to get to net income of 89,980. That's going to be one of the benefits of using negative numbers to represent credits within a trial balance. Now, knowing the difference between negative numbers and what a debit and credit is, is going to be a problem no matter what we do, because... Uh, we're going to use addition and subtraction to add and subtract debits and credits. So we have to distinguish in our mind or continually learn and, and differentiate the idea of debits and credits from plus and minus, although we will be using plus and minus when working with debits and credits. So, for example, in this case, we are using the minus sign to represent credits, although we're seeing it as a credit. We're using a subtraction problem to see that we have net income, revenue minus expenses, of 89,980. And we're recognizing the fact that the bracket here, although Excel sees it as a negative number, is really a credit. It's a credit to us, meaning the credit balances of revenue are beating or exceeding the debit balances related to the expenses. We can also do a similar summing up of all the income and all the asset and liability accounts. We're taking the debits minus the credits, which would equal equity, the sum of all blue accounts. So we can sum up all blue accounts, and Excel would just take the credit, the credit, minus the debit, minus the debit, minus the debit, and those two halves of the trial balance will be equivalent. We can do a lot easier math that way rather than calculating it out, adding these all up individually, and then subtracting these out individually. So that's some of the benefits just of the formatting of the trial balance. Note that the trial balance will be uh, indicated that the total debits equal the total credits in one format or another. 
either by two columns showing that total debits equal total credits or this is shown by a zero here meaning that debits minus the credits are equaling zero.